So I am here today to remove this tub and we'll put another tub down in the in the hole. The other tub is slightly smaller, but you can see they built this tub up against the or built the bricks up against the tub. So I'm going to try to lift it out. Um, I'm going to use my my bounty and see if I can lift it, but it's so tight I don't think I can. So I think this one is going to be take a recip sole and cut it up. And it is not in my spirit to destroy hot tubs, but sometimes you have to when uh, idiots put stuff in. And that's what happened here. They installed this tub like you would never ever have to service it. This is the same thing, friends, as going and buying a Maserati and going, you know what, I don't like that, that open line around the hood. So I'm going to have it welded shut and polished and repainted. And then you go to get an oil change. That's what this right here is. Stay tuned, friends. We'll see how it turns out. And you can see that it's, it's really wet. Friends, the reason this tub is so wet right there is because this hole held water. No drains in it, so the water actually wicked from the bottom of the tub up into the foam. When we did pull the tub out and cut it up, it was crazy heavy because it was completely soaked. All right, friends, let the demolition begin. Friends, this is a lesson in what you do not do. What these guys did was, I started measuring and I figured out that that concrete out there is the same height as this concrete in here. Basically, they poured it, set the tub, built all this around it. What they did not do is put drains in it. So what I was gonna do is drill a drain back here in this corner until I realized that it's the same height. I would have to be up about two inches which means two inches of water is going to stay in here all the time and you can see that they put it up tight around the hot tub all the way that didn't keep water out what it did was allowed water in but kept evaporation out so it just destroyed the hot tub plus they had this open on the front which allowed water to get in here and this thing's just a mess you can see that it'll hold water i'm going to have to figure out a way to, to get it, the water out of it or make it at least not hold water constantly and the the beauty is is the tub that i'm putting in here is shorter than this tub so i'm going to build a platform for it to be on so the tub won't be on the ground but the tub also has a abs pan bottom and it's got composite sides and really no wood in it which is going to be helpful in this installation i'm not going to put the bridge back across which is what they had right here i'm going to leave it like this and just put bricks back on each corner finish it and then put a Trex decking type uh, trim piece back in here to cover it up. But this is a bad idea. Putting a hot tub down in a hole sounds good, looks good, bad idea. Destroys hot tubs, makes it impossible to service. And there's really no point in it. And I found that uh, most people that have it like this originally a lot of times we take it out fill the hole in and put the tub back on the top you can see that this is so elaborate that it's, it's too much to fill back in to put it back on the top um but just a bad idea all the way around ladies and gentlemen friends don't let friends put hot tubs in holes leave that all right friends so i've got the site prepped Got everything done, filled in some holes here with mortar, mortared those bricks in, those over there where I tore the bridge out that was right here. I've got six by sixes, I had to cut them off about five inches to get them in there, they're 91. I mortared where they had loose rocks right here. I drilled holes through down in here. You see I had to bore in there to drill holes through. So if water gets in here, it will come out. There's drains down there. And I was able to drill on both ends. I was able to get one in this corner and I was able to get one in that corner. And this builds up and gives me about that much room under the lip around the edge of the tub. And this tub is slightly smaller than the other. So it should give me about a half inch gap right here, which under the lip should look okay. 
and it'll allow it to breathe and dry out. The way they had it when water got in here through this giant hole right here, there was nowhere for the water to go. I will not be hooking that drain there back up. They don't need it. I'm gonna cap that. Uh, because you don't need the drain of the tub to actually drain it. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the bag in here, blow the bag up sideways, lay the tub here, slide it sideways over here, get it over the top of the bag and then twist it and line it up and let the air out. I'm gonna put a trick that somebody actually on YouTube taught me, uh, another mover. I'm gonna put a bag of ice there, one there, one right here, one right here. When I let it down, it lands on the ice, I can pull the bag out. Now, that's perfect for putting it in. Taking it out, you've gotta have some kind of exit strategy. So what I'm gonna be able to do if I ever had to remove the tub, pull it up to work on it or whatever, I've got it where I can slide these apart. So I can take a hammer or my foot, get the water out of the tub, do a slight lift on the tub and push these apart enough to get the bag between, to blow it up enough to get some, some uh, wedges under it and then I can push the bag completely under it sideways and blow the tub up and push it out. So always, this is not ideal. This is not the way you want to put a tub in, but sometimes you have to deal with the cards you've been given. In this case, I've got to deal with this little setup. And when I get done, I'm gonna actually put um, Trex decking. I'm gonna make a little cover here that will actually cover over the edge of the brick some. You can see where they had one before. And uh, hopefully we'll keep a good portion of the rain out. So there you are, friends. I got it ready to go. Are you scared yet? I'm not scared, but I'm frustrated. This is a hard job. Getting that other tub out was really hard. It took uh, almost two days to cut up and dispose of it. It was so heavy. Stay tuned. Dum, dum. Dum, it's really not Jaws, folks. So I have got this ready to go. I'm getting ready to bring the tub in and we're gonna drop it down in there. Stay tuned, folks, it's happening today. Are you scared yet? I'm not scared. I'm about to put this hot tub in this hole.
So what I'm doing with this ice is I take a bag of ice and put it under each corner. So when the tub sits down, it sits on the ice, I can get the bag out and then the ice will melt. So there you are, friends. The ice will melt and the tub will settle in place. Just like that. So I can hook my wire up and get everything ready. All right, friends, so she's all settled in. The ice is melted. So I'm gonna fill it up and get it running and then I'm gonna work on how to trim it out. Let me see, there was a bag of ice down there. So here we go. So there you are, friends. We got the tub installed, complete, trimmed out. Good to go. That was a big job, but somebody had to do it. Might as well have been the spa guy.